Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is Infinity Break coming back at you today for another daily upload. Now, I am not one of those people who likes to go out of their way to get competitive or aggressive or to make you think that my opinion is the only one that matters. I don't do that. I am completely aware that other people have their opinions, other people have their ideas, and other people are allowed to say whatever they want, and that's perfectly fine. Today, I, instead of making a theory, which I will be making a theory very soon for you guys, because I know how much you guys love those, I have decided to do kind of a discussion, and it's kind of in response to a video I saw on YouTube about, I think it was earlier today, sometime around this morning, and right now it's the evening, so it's been a good couple hours, but I thought I would make kind of a counter-argument. Now you might be saying, Infinity, a counter-argument to what? Well, earlier I saw a video by a very fine YouTuber by the name of dare to game who had made a video called Why the Elder Scrolls 6 Will Suck. And I watched it, and I was a little bit murfed by the whole idea of, you know, just someone going out of their way to say, oh, this game will suck. Because, contrary to popular belief, and contrary to what every one of you might be thinking, I am not a pessimistic person. <laughs> I try my best to be an optimistic person. So I watched this video, I skimmed it through it, I listened to some of his points, I sat down, and I was like, okay, this is... He makes some good arguments. It is a very well-constructed video, and there will be a link down in the description for you to go check it out. I have also laid the image up on screen so you know exactly what the thumbnail looks like in case it pops up down in the recommended videos. Go ahead and watch it. It is not a bad video, I am just saying that I do not agree with it. In fact, I suppose you could say that this isn't even really a reaction to his video. It's more of he made me think of reasons why I do not agree with this. Why I do not think the Elder Scrolls 6 will suck. So today, instead of just clapping back at the guy or whatever, I'm actually kind of happy he brought up this argument because I would like to sit down with you today and tell you why personally I am excited for and why I do not think the Elder Scrolls 6 will suck. So I remember that while I was watching this video, a couple of things that the YouTuber dare to game had brought up was the uh, fact that The Elder Scrolls 6 is coming out in a very odd spot during Bethesda's, well, run. See, Bethesda as of late isn't the most popular of gaming companies, especially with their fan base, considering the fact that the latest games that they have released, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, and even Skyrim, have technically not been what the fans have been asking for, I suppose you could say. They have been dumbing down a lot of the old gaming mechanics that have come with their RPGs with each new installment. It started way back within Morrowind and is continued on today into the latest of Fallout games, and, and by extension even Skyrim, like I said. The problem seems to stem from the idea that Bethesda seems to be simplifying and dumbing down the mechanics of the game in order to suit a broader range of individuals who will be willing to pick up their games. This is not a bad idea, but when executed the way that it has been executed in the last couple entries, it is not necessarily a good thing either. See, within Fallout 4, like I said in my latest video that actually went up today, by the time of recording, which is the good, the bad, the Bethesda, the Fallout 4 video part 2, which is talking specifically about the bad aspects, I talked about how the perks and a lot of the skills were dumbed down way too much. But in my same video of the Good, the Bad, and Bethesda series, I talked about Skyrim for the first episode, and I said that the simplification was not too bad. It is considered a dumbing down and a bad kind of mechanic by a lot of the fan base, but in my opinion, in Skyrim it seems to work out the best. At least, in my opinion, out of all the Bethesda games that have been dumbed down, I think Skyrim was dumbed down in a pretty okay-ish kind of way. Uh, don't get me wrong, Skyrim could be so much better, and I feel like a lot of the hardcore fans miss these old mechanics, and honestly, I cannot blame them. Having the numbers and balancing out specific skills and making sure that you kind of stay dedicated to a specific class is something that is a staple with Bethesda games, or at least a lot of the older ones. Moving forward, when you dumb down a lot of mechanics and take away a lot of things that a couple of your fans seem to really enjoy, a lot of fans might get upset, and a lot of people could see this as a bad kind of idea or a bad sort of innovation. 
But moving forward, I think in the Elder Scrolls 6, we could have a genuine chance for real innovation here. There could be a happy medium between simplification and old time classic mechanics. See, the thing about Bethesda is that they are not purposely trying to dumb down the game. I know in a way they are to make it more accessible, I suppose you could say, but they are not trying to remove basic features. They are trying to streamline them. They're trying to try something new. And in a way, this can be seen as a good thing. I know it is mostly considered a bad thing by a majority of the community, but think of it this way. If a game comes out and it's the same thing every single time, don't you think that the game developer is just becoming lazy? Bethesda, in a fit of just tinkering, is trying to find a way to change the formula each time, to make each game unique. This is why Skyrim is still considered a good game, but is definitely different and in some people's eyes a little bit less of an RPG. But in my opinion, I see Bethesda just trying to experiment because they don't want to do the same thing over and over again. For all we know, in the next Elder Scrolls game, we could find an entirely new system in place, which is kind of streamlined, but at the same time can kind of cater to a lot of old fans. I feel like with the backlash that Bethesda has been getting as of late, they might stop trying to simplify in the way they've been doing as of late, and instead might be pushing for more of a callback to the way their games used to be, while still maintaining a sort of Skyrim-esque simple system. Another thing people seem to be worried about when it comes to Bethesda as of late is that they aren't taking their stories as seriously. Which, I guess that's kind of a bad way of putting it, but people seem to be having a lot of issues with the stories that they've been putting out as of late. Things like Fallout 76 being more of a multiplayer and less of a single player, and like I said, Fallout 4 being not the best of single player experiences when it comes to the main story. I already, like I said, put out a video talking about Fallout 4's story and why I personally think it's one of the weakest Fallout stories that I've ever played through and why I really dislike it. I am not going to say go watch the video, I'm just saying my last video I definitely talked about that. And I'm not going to reiterate myself. I have already gone into many, many details about why this story is bad. But, I've also made a video a long time ago, about two or three months ago, talking about why I think Bethesda just has a hard time with the Fallout franchise. I think the reason that Bethesda and their last couple titles when it came to Fallout have not been that well received is because I just don't think they understand the Fallout story too well. They don't understand a lot of the core ideals of Fallout. Because they didn't create Fallout. Black Isle and some of the people that moved into Obsidian which made Fallout New Vegas they understand Fallout, because they made Fallout, but Bethesda didn't make Fallout. They're doing their best to interpret it, and by god they do a pretty damn good job, especially mechanically speaking, but I do not think they understand the story, I do not think they really understand the factions, and I do not think they really understand a lot of the settings, and the main sort of ideals behind the series as a whole. I think though that they do get the Elder Scrolls. I am not worried about Bethesda when it comes to the Elder Scrolls. Almost every Elder Scrolls game that's come out, bar Red Guard and, you know, Battle Spire, have been really well received games. The Elder Scrolls 1 Arena was the game that kickstarted the entire series by making a pretty unique and very innovative game for the time that it came out. Direfall was a very groundbreaking game in and of itself, with a very big and vast open world that to this date has held one of the top 10 biggest gaming worlds within history. Morrowind is actually one of the games that is still to this day considered a huge fan favorite by majority of Bethesda's fans. It is actually the baseline of what most games that come out today by Bethesda are compared to within the Elder Scrolls community. Oblivion when it first came out became one of Bethesda's instant hits with one of the most successful games that was ever released by them. And is actually a lot of the reasons why there are so many people in the Elder Scrolls community right now that are around my age as a lot of people jumped in to the Elder Scrolls series around the time that Oblivion came out. And is still to this day considered one of the best stories and one of the more interesting and colorful open worlds that had a lot of character to it. And when we talk about Skyrim, we all know that Skyrim is one of the easiest games in the franchise to pick up, and one of the most, I suppose you could say popular, 
for being so simple, and as just having a very well done formula. So no, I am not worried about the Elder Scrolls 6's story. I feel like Bethesda can handle their own franchise that they created. The issue with Fallout is that they do not understand the core of it because they merely adopted it. They did not create the Fallout franchise and that is the issue with it. So yes, to reiterate, I'm not worried about the mechanics and I am not worried about the story. I do not think those will be an issue moving forward as long as Bethesda works hard on the game. I'm going to address two more issues and then this video will be over. The first issue, the game Brio engine. Personally, I do not understand why everybody is upset about the game Brio engine. I have played Skyrim, I have played Fallout, I have played every single game imaginable, and I understand that the game Brio engine is extremely outdated. But at the same time, I personally didn't notice that this was an issue until I saw that everybody else thought it was an issue. Personally, I don't see the huge issue with the game Rio engine. I just feel like maybe it could use a big overhaul. A little bit more of a complete rework. Or, you know, maybe we can get a new engine. I don't know. The point of what I'm trying to say is, is that the game Rio engine might make a return for the Elder Scrolls 6, but honestly, like I said, I'm not going to be surprised if it does show up, but... I'm actually not going to be surprised if they let it go. See, a lot of people are actually saying, like, what's taking the Elder Scrolls 6 so long? In fact, that was probably the other thing I was going to talk about right after this. We have been waiting nearly 10 years for the Elder Scrolls 6, and I personally have not really been, you know, freaking out, like, where is my Elder Scrolls 6? Sure, at one point I was like, oh man, I wonder when they're going to come out with it, but I never got upset that they're taking their time with it. I never have gotten upset because I know we've been getting bits and little bits of details here and there about it. People have talked about it, we got a teaser last year about it, and personally, I know it's getting worked on. So I do not care as long as it comes out within the next five years, I know I'm being very patient. And I know not everybody else is as patient, but there is a reason it is taking so long. I feel like Bethesda is completely overhauling the system and the engine that they are using for the Elder Scrolls 6. They are clearly putting time into this game, as well as putting time into other games like Starfield, or else they wouldn't have been, you know, they wouldn't have been, you know, taking a lot of time with this game. It would have been out a long time ago if they weren't putting a lot of effort into it. Now, I know, like I said, they were working on Fallout 4, and I know they were also by what seems to be they were also working on Starfield, which is apparently going to come out before it. And I know those take time too. But I am not surprised that it's taking this long because I know for a fact that the creators of the game said that, and I quote, we have big ideas for The Elder Scrolls Six, Big ambitions. We want to do so much, but the technology isn't quite here yet. So they're taking their time and doing what they can and they have a lot of ambitious ideas, don't you think that maybe they might build up a new engine and that maybe they're working their butts off on the graphics and mechanics and maybe they're working on a decent story again just because I know that they know that they're going to get a lot of hype for this game and a lot of people are going to put high expectations for it. They have a lot of people they have to impress. So yeah, I don't think they're going to just sit around twiddling their thumbs until finally the game is, oh yeah, I guess the game is ready and release it. No, I'm pretty sure they're going to try and do something ambitious like they always do with the Elder Scrolls. Sure, Fallout 4 fell a little short story-wise, but I already told you why I don't think they did that well with Fallout 4, and that is because I do not think they understand the Fallout franchise. And with a lot of the heat they've been getting lately, they're probably feeling a little bit challenged by the community, and they want to rise to that occasion. I'm sure that a lot of people are like, oh, they're going to put multiplayer in it. I don't think they're going to put multiplayer in it. I don't think they're going to do that. They might have a really cool, like, co-op system, maybe, but that's just wishful thinking on my end. Because I don't really see how they could put multiplayer in this game. And I don't see how they could put microtransactions in it. I know there was Creation Club, but I don't really think that that's garnered that much success. And I don't think they're really going out of their way to do that much with it. So, yeah, maybe there might be something related to Creation Club kind of stuff in the future. 
But like I said, I just don't really think that if they want to be smart, that they're going to do that. It just doesn't make any practical sense to me. Then again, I could be wrong. Elder Scrolls 6 can come out in a year, in the year 2020, late fall, and trust me, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to come out somewhere in around 2021 or 2022. And when it does, I feel like it might be a good game. But like I said, it could come out around that time and it could be total garbage. Personally, I do not think it will suck. I have high hopes for The Elder Scrolls 6. And despite a, li like a lot of what's gone on lately, I have faith in Bethesda. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I am about to be disappointed. And I am perfectly fine with taking that risk. But I'd rather sit here and have a little bit of optimism. And I might just sit here and look at these facts and have my opinions. And I can more than definitely think that this game that's going to come out might be just as good as Skyrim. It might be just as good as Oblivion. It might be just as good as Morrowind and the games before it. And I could be wrong, like I said. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. And you're free to think what you wish to think. I am not calling out Dare to Game. I think you make a good point in a lot of what you were putting out in your video. I am just simply saying that I do not think The Elder Scrolls 6 will suck. Okay, now that I've either lost the credibility of a lot of my subs or people watching this video for the first time, um, yeah, that was that video. Like I said, you guys got different opinions than me? That is perfectly fine. I'd actually like to hear your opinions down in the comment section. Please keep it civil. And just give me details as to why you might think differently. Let me know of any, you know, facts or anything that you think you can point out to maybe change my mind. Like I said, I want to stay optimistic for The Elder Scrolls 6. I am really looking forward to this game. And I do not mind waiting longer, because I still have Fallout 4, I still have Skyrim, I still have Fallout 3, New Vegas, I still have Morrowind, and Oblivion, and ESO, and Fallout 76, despite how those last two might not be the best, I still have all these games, and I have thousands of hours worth of content that I can continuously play through, especially with mods, and I do not mind Bethesda taking their time with this game. This has been Infinity Break reminding you all to say it with me now. Play well, eat well, and live well, friends. If you guys want to, like, comment, share, or subscribe, if you want to. It helps me out. If a single one of you, for every hundred views or whatever, subs to my channel, I'm one step closer to breaking infinity. Either way, I hope you guys have a nice day or night wherever you're at. I hope I continue to impress you with these videos if you stick around. And I hope to see you guys again in the future. Take it easy.